All right, man. You know me. I'm really the type of guy to troll in PvP. So here we are, man. We are going to be using Rumoru. All right. This man. Let's be honest. He's forgotten. I almost forget what his passive does. You know. But um, someone recommended me to use the blue Rumoru instead of the green one. I said, Yo, let me try it. So if you don't know, he increases the defense rate stats by 12% at the start of the next turn. If the heroes take dam damage, limit it up to four times, which can make him a very godly tank character. Like again, we're using the unknown base stat team, which means Rom's gonna give us 20% base stats, and Anashi with Holy Relic is gonna give us 30% base stats, and Echidna is also giving us 15% base stats. So this man Rumoru is gonna be like the, the the godly tank that he is in PvP. Pretty much gonna be countering these uh. These Purgatory Melios and Escanors that we see. I just want to see if we can tank, honestly. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just want to see if we can tank and see how well Rumoru does. Um, especially because we could face one of those type of teams where it's like the Taxo team. So we could be pretty solid, especially because this man does have like a clean stance type of card. So it might be actually fire, you know. I love having some fun in PvP with some unique teams. So I really want to try this out. So hope you guys enjoy. You know, comment down below more unique teams that I should try out. And let's see what we can do. All right. Somebody wanted me to use this team featuring Rimuru. And I'm about to get lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, pretty much, they wanted me to try to use Rimuru on this full unknown team. Just because, you know, Rimuru allows you to be very, very defensive. And I think Rimuru could be pretty cool if he didn't have, like, such a weird card having a Rupture attack card. If you don't know, Rupture pretty much means double damage on buff characters now the unfortunate thing is buffs aren't really meta right now in pvp um like you have most characters like what like purgatory melios who has like a gray buff which doesn't count for the rupture effect as well so it's very hard for him to pretty much compete in pvp especially because he also has pretty bad stats as well like obviously he has that passive where he pretty much increases defense related stats but that's like every other turn. So it's not the best passive to be used, especially in PvP where you have characters like um, Meliodas, Escanor, who can just crit you crazy amounts of time. And with the unknown team, it's very hard to play with him just because, like, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Like, there's no damage on this team. Like, again, Kenna, Kenna can technically do damage. But there's no really powerhouse powerhouse unknown character like that in PvP that I'm using right now. Obviously, you can probably say like Rimuru or um, what's another unknown character? I would say Merlin, but Merlin don't be technically doing damage like that. Uh, you have Raftalia with the Nanashi team. I mean, Raftalia with the Nanashi team is kind of decent. I can't lie to you. Like, when you have, like, Raptalia hitting you for, like, 300k and stuff like that, yo, that's gonna be looking so good in PvP. And obviously, right now, we're just trying our best to, uh, make sure a rumor doesn't be getting nuked. And, unfortunately, it does not work. <laughs> and this is the sucky thing about sometimes when you're playing against PvP, is like, yo, you kinda gotta, you're kinda, like, forced into playing off against the meta, technically. Because so many characters are just so outdated that you gotta like play off the meta. So if Meliodas is meta, you're gonna have to use Melios or something that is comparable to him. Like an Eskin or something like that. And that's what a lot of people have like complaints about PvP is that you just want we want characters to be buffed. Like let's be honest. We want these older characters to be buffed so we can finally use them. Like, we, we all get it, man. We get it. Now, Bravo wants to make that money, that, that, that sh money, and pretty much just keep that one new character that make it all look broken, all right? They love having these multiple passives on one character, but but it's not just, it's just not healthy, man. It's just not healthy sometimes, and it can make the meta just pretty, feel, like, pretty much stale. Like, it's, it's, it's so stale when... The only characters you see are like 20 characters in PvP. Like, let's be honest, like no one wants to keep playing PvP when there are only like 20 characters. And all of the 20 characters that are in there are either super offensive or so toxic that you can get attack so spam, stun spam, all that in PvP. Which is why I sometimes love doing these type of videos where 
I'm using like a fun character that is like off meta, like with Blue Rimuru. Even though I know personally, <laughs> it's kind of gonna suffer most likely. That's why I be feeling so good when I be able to pretty much defeat it's a, a good team with a trash character. Cause um, let's be honest, Blue Rimuru, he's not it. So this time we got a um a sins team, I, I guess. I wonder what he has in the bag. It's probably Purgatory Meliodas looking at his team. Because usually on this type of team, they most likely try to have um they they try to have like full on sense characters, and I know they ain't running Purgatory Bond. So <laughs> I know it's gonna probably be like Melio. Actually, I mean they could have like maybe uh was it Ragnarok Bond technically, but let's be honest, they're gonna have like Purgatory Meliodas in the back. Like, we just gotta keep it 100. Um Ooh, Rimuru can have his ultimate. Ooh, have you seen guys Rimuru ultimate? When the last time you seen Rimuru's ultimate. Okay. Yo, Rimuru is technically like really decent against um Escanor. Obviously, with Purgatory Meliodas, he, he gets absolutely, like, curve stomp. But against a character like Escanor, he, you can actually put in some work. Just because it takes a good minute for Escanor to get set up on the team. So you can do some really good stuff with um, Esk with um, Rimuru against Escanor. So he looks like he's going crazy with his attacks. Is it? I want to say, is he trying to go for his ultimate? Does he not know about Nanashi's passive? Are you okay? Okay. Wait, does he heal right here? Wait, is he healing? Nah. Alright. He didn't go for his ultimate. Um, or I don't think he could have got gone for his ultimate. So this time we can probably just push for a Kindle's ultimate. And then we just nuke right here as well. Yep, we use a sever card. I want to keep the infect card and just in case I want to like ult and infect him. Because again, he does have a red Tarmio link character. Uh, which is Deanne. So if I just stop her from healing and then ult afterwards, then that's gonna be the best play. Because he's obviously he's probably gonna try to take away my gauge with his Deanne. So we wanna just keep we just wanna make sure he doesn't have no no way of healing, especially on his DN. Ooh, can we tank this? Can we tank? Can we tank? Ooh. Rimuru too good. See, boys? Rimuru is just too strong. Rimuru is just too good. Rimuru too good. And then we got Rom about to go crazy right now. They come the base stat boost. I think it's like, is it 30%? Or is it 20%? I think it's 20%. 1.1 million? Golly. Yeah, he's definitely forfeiting. He's definitely forfeiting. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Cause um, I think I tank pretty well. Oh my god, is that a gold card? It's gonna be a gold AOE, isn't it? It's oh my god, it is. No, do you think I'm gonna survive, guys? Think I'm a tank? I think I'm a tank. I should tank, right? Let's see. Ah, we tank. Oh my god, he missed all those crystal Rimuru. He's too broken. Rimuru is too broken. Let's go. Oh boy, my my favorite team, boys. The Taxil spamming team. Let's go. I think actually Rimuru should be pretty solid against this team because we do have characters who can debuff. Um, he's obviously gonna be dodge root, so you gotta probably just waste a card and just use our attack cards for now because we do own debuffs. That, that is a fact. We do own debuffs. So it's going to be very easy for us to um, attack. We just got to keep on attacking, though. <laughs> with, with with debuffs. And so I got to hope I keep getting debuff cards. Because obviously he's going to keep spamming attack seals. Uh, he can't attack seal Rumuru right now. Just because I, I, I can't be debuffed when I got the stance up. Yo, Rumuru has like the weirdest... Debuff ever, man. Did you? I said debuff. Stance card. Did y'all know like his stance is actually a a, clen a cleanse thing? Like it doesn't cleanse at all. It's just like yo. So if he had like a debuff on him, like he's not cleansing it at all. 
I always thought that was like a little bit weird. Like if he gets infected, you can't just use your stance to cleanse afterward. Like what you see like Chandler and stuff like that. That's always been like mad weird to me. But it's always been like super, super weird. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The RNG. <laughs> the only sucky thing is like, I can't use anything really. I just, I gotta keep probably stunning Meliodas, right? The only reason I say I probably gotta keep stunning Meliodas is because he, he has the boost. So I, I gotta keep hoping that I get like a debuff card. Cause this man is obviously gonna keep attacks on me. Which is why it's so annoying playing against the Taxo teams in PvP. Just cause if you're using this type of team that is like full of cards that are attacking, which is like most teams in PvP. Then you can get freaking attacks for like 10 plus minutes. 10 plus minutes. Which can make the match a little bit boring. Um, that's why you don't really see too many content creators like make videos like that. Because they know like they're going to get attacked to like a billion times. In PvP. So right now I only have a stance card. So I'm assuming like always he's going to try to attack still me. Which I'm actually surprised I didn't really... He didn't have that many Meliodas cards. I was trying to hope that maybe if I'd like keep on attack someone or not attack someone, uh, stunning his Meliodas, he'll get like a whole bunch of Meliodas cards. But nope, it's just him and Gother. <laughs> it's just Gother and him. Um, and remember what I said, like with his stance card, he doesn't cleanse or anything like that. It just prevents anything else from debuffing him afterwards. I probably should have saved this uh, Rimuru card right here. But I want to try to get my ultimate as quickly as possible. So I have another stun um, in the just in case. So I'm thinking to myself, I want to try to see if I can get rid of Rimuru. I said a Rimuru. Meliodas. But let's see what he's going to do. Because um, he does have an attack boost. Oh, he's buffing up. What the heck? Oh my god. You see that get on Merlin? Holy. Oh my god, he loves spamming his attack still, man. <laughs> he loves spamming his attack still, okay. So let's just do this where we attack Meliodas since he has the buffs on him. That actually was really, really good for me. And he has the King on Gother. So he actually making my damage like double now. Thank you. He kind of like helped me out right there. <laughs> He, he literally just helped me out. Obviously, he has the ult to take away my gauge right here, but now he has just Nanashi out on the field, which Nanashi is a, like is a nobody technically. So it's all up to him, Gother, and Merlin and Nanashi, and we're both running unknown. So it makes it very hard for him to like get gain gauge, especially if I get like the, the defense boost from Nanashi, or like Rumuru who has like stances and stuff like that. It definitely makes it a lot harder for him. So I have to like try to choose on who I want to stun. Um, either being Gother or Merlin right now. So let's see what we can do. I'll probably go for Merlin. Uh, I'll probably attack Gother with Rimuru. And then for Merlin. I don't know why I checked that he was Red Tarmia Link. And then, um, yeah, we're going to stun Merlin right here and just attack Red Gothus to stop his passive. Let's see how many cards she has. Oh, my God. He's forfeiting. He's forfeiting. Oh, my God. Attack seal, L, and the room will win animation. All right, man. Don't, don't mind the maintenance thing. All right, don't mind the maintenance thing. We're recording late, late nights, boys. We're recording late nights. So we got green Rumuru versus blue Rumuru. Comment down below who you think winning, boys. This guy has Shuna. So he's definitely taking a, a, a fat L. Owning Shuna. Cringe. Bro, I haven't been... I, it was only like one time I used Shuna. <laughs> and I think I got it like 6-6, six, six, I think. I think it was like... I, actually, no, no. I think I got like 4-6. Four, 4-6 six, four, six or 3-6. It was like one time I used Shuna, bro. I forget what she does. I think she does... 
Like what decreased? I think it was like damage reduction for 20% for unknowns. And her holy relic is something like. Bro, I just forget what she does. I think her holy relic is like boost pierce rates when you cleanse a debuff or something like that, or cleanse at all. And maybe maybe I should revisit Shuna low key. Maybe I should revisit her. We we can get that that sweet content. I'm going. Now I should probably like push for maybe um Rimuru's ultimates. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go for this. <laughs> Cause I just thought about it for a second. Akina's ultimate or or Rimuru ultimates? Akina is the way. I can't lie. I ain't I can't even lie to you. I think the second thing is is that Rimuru right now can, is able to steal my buffs. So it's up to him. Is he gonna old rush us or not? Oh, I could probably use Rom as well too, or or uh, Rimuru's Rupture card. I think I'm just gonna use Rom, just in case I want to get rid of three characters at once. I said three or two, three or two. Cause he is trying to push for his ultimate right now.
Come on. Rom. Ugh. Oh my god, we're gonna do it. Rumor for the ultimate. Let's go. Rumor. Ugh. Good 140k. Good 140k. You ever see a six out of six blue rumor? Well, you have today, boys. Clapping cheeks and PvP. That's what we like to see. And look at that win animation. Mm-mm-mm. Look mad sexy.